And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pacos Place. Excited to introduce to you our guest, one of my heroes, Mr. Mon David. <laughs> Ikaw ang hero ko eh, ano ka ba? <laughs> Impossible, Kuya Mon. Pero, finally, natuloy finally, din. Natuloy and, din. And you know what? Thank you for being here because um, hindi natin pinag-uusapan kanina um, back, bago tayo mag, mag-podcast. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko kinikwento kay Miss Anne. Hindi ko rin sinasabi sa inyo. But, I will tell you on cam that your presence validates the presence of up-and-coming artists who have been here on the podcast and who will be here on the podcast. Wow. Uh, wow. What a nice thing to say. I kid you I'm, not. I'm humbled. I, we are sana humbled. Nga, we are nga. humbled. Kasi nung sinabi ni Michael Abad, sabi niya, I'm honored actually. Ako yung nagpapasalamat to, you know, for the having me here. The feeling is mutual also. Mm-hmm. Patayo na tayo ng, <laughs> ng club, pare. Mutual appreciation club. Kasi, Ikaw, presidente. <laughs> yung pag-aawayan oh. din natin yung Ikaw, presidente, Kuya Mon. Kasi iba eh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, like, those. like kung, siguro kung kami-kami ni na, ng mga anak niyo, sina Carlos, sina Nicole ang gumagawa nito, it's, it's, a, it's a regular thing. Mm-hmm. But to have you, Thank you for your time. Thank you for your presence. <laughs> to have a senior citizen. <laughs> no, to have no to have someone oh. who is a legend in the industry that that we all grew up in. Oh. And you've worked with the best and you are one of the best. So Okay guys, that's it. Thank you. Wow. My guys, Starstruck. Kanina pa ako na sa Starstruck. Parang kanina Wag no. namang the best, one of the best. I'm, you know, just like you, I'm, I'm, I'm a student. I'm still learning. And I guess that's the whole yeah. point then. We have We're, to keep on learning. I keep telling our friends I'm a, a student of the University of Life. Amen. You know, at covered na lahat yon, Yung art ko, yung music, yung human relationship. Yung lahat na yon, where we continue learning on a daily basis, diba? And, and, and Kuya Mon, <clears throat> as, um, when you say learning on a daily basis, kanina nabanggit mo na, oh my God, at, at your very young age right now, your eyes are still being opened from time to time to new things. Can you explain that? I keep, I keep telling our friends that. Pati sa mga anak ko, nagbibiro ang nga kami, eto na naman si beginner, sabi nila. Kasi Ikaw sasabi, si beginner. Parati kong sinasabi, I'm, I'm a beginner, you know, uh, in all aspects. Pag may nagkoconsulta nag, uh, sa akin na uh, artists at fellow singers and musicians, you know, sabi ko, pag-usapan natin. Let's, let's have an exchange of ideas. I'll share with you my experiences. I-share mo sa akin yung sa'yo. Yung mga questions mo, baka pwede kong sagutin. Masagot, sabi ko, based on my experiences. That's, Pero wala akong tigil sa pag-learn at pag-explore. That's also the reason why I'm here. That huh. led me to, to this podcast. This, Wide and fertile ground, creative okay. ground, which is United States States, of okay. Okay, well, pag-usapan natin yung journey in a bit, but I am very curious right now, why, why are you so calm? Are you always like this? May time ba na tumataas ang boses mo, pwera lang sa kumakanta ka? When, when you're off stage, are you really calm and relaxed? Because ever since I've known you and met you, you've always been that way. Oh, that's a, what a compliment. <laughs> thank really? you, thank you. Kasi deep inside, marami din akong mga, ano, marami din akong uh, nire-resolve na mga katanungan. Uh, marami, meron din akong restlessness. I think it's it's part of being human, di ba? Yes. Di tayo natitigil, uh, tumitigil mag-evolve. You know? But nagtataas din ako ng boses. Okay. At siguro, Nagag- nagagalit gen- din kayo, ganun. Oo naman. Okay. Oo naman. But I try to maintain that that uh, <clears throat> you know that frame of mind na pwedeng pwedeng magkaroon ng argument na hindi nagsasakitan. Right, right. Hindi nagka nag, you know hindi nagbubuhos ng nagbibitaw ng mga alam mo na mga salita na yes. minsan hindi mo na mababawi yes. pag sisisihan mo. And those are they come they they're all in that uh, area na tinatawag natin I should have I could have I should have I could have as we go on, di ba, sa buhay natin, binabawasan natin yung mga I should have natin. So you, you, you really 
<clears throat> you really contemplate on what you will say before you say it. I try. I I, I always try my best to, because <clears throat> I've always had this philosophy. Na even the performances, di ba? Yeah. Once, pinangunahan ka ng tension at nega vibes. Ang hirap mag-perform. Ang hirap mag-communicate. Ang hirap mag-express. Kasi ang lalabas sa'yo, galit at init ng ulo at, at bias. Right. Diba? I think w- when, when we're creating, it's best to create when you're in your most relaxed state. Ooh. And that's why, diba, pumupunta tayo sa <laughs> halamanan, sa mm-hmm. forest, sa garden, pumupunta tayo sa park to meditate and to focus on what what we we've, we've been doing and what we are about to do natutulog ako parang naririnig ko yung melody sa mga lyrics tumatakbo sa harapan what do ko you do? that's how i memorize okay let's <clears throat> say matutulog na lang kayo sa gabi may pumasok na idea do you get up or do you let it go oh sometimes inahayaan ko muna ng magano mag uh, marinate sa utak mo minsan na naman, kadalasan naman hindi mo talaga mapigilan tatayo ka at kunin mo yung gitara <laughs> magno notes ka na di ba yes Let's talk about that. Or record mo, i-tape mo, ganun. You're a multi-instrumentalist and you're an awesome singer. Oh. What started and when did it start? Did you start singing or did you start picking up an instrument? What started it for you? I started singing, uh, joining <laughs> amateur contest when really? I was younger. Healing Ele- elementary talaga. years, oo. Uh, naririn ko na yung mga, ano, yung mga singing contest sa aming... Sa aming Uh, barrio. And where is this barrio? Uh, sa San Vicente, Santo Tomas, Pampanga. Ay, makapampangan. Ka- proud Kapampangan. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. David. Most yeah. Davids are Kapampangans. My middle name is Canlas. So, lalo pang, ano yun, matindi yun, Canlas David. Pineda, mga Kapampangan yan. So, uh, in, even in my earliest, earlier years, elementary grades, ako na yung kumakanta ng mga Pampansang Awit, mga, uh-huh. uh, mga pro- programs sa uh, klase. Uh, tapos nag nag evolve na yon into joining singing contests. Pero, I, w- I was just I was just curious. Right. Lang... Did that out of that curiosity? Now this is my curiosity. Great elementary going into seventh grade, sixth grade, at papunta ng high school. Was it just I like singing, or you know what? I can make a career of singing. When you want me to? Ah, wala, wala pa wala? yung wala pa yung career uh, yung ganong classing thinking. I was okay. just enjoying. Singing. So I think I was it starts just, with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I naalala ko the very first song na kinanta ko na sinali ko sa isang contest was uh, I don't know if bak bakawala pa kayo nun, eh, mga group ng Herman Hermits yung um, uh, sugar ng kanta yon yung End of the world. <laughs> Why does my heart tataryaran? Don't don't they know it's the end of the world? Gano yun yun ang mga mga awitin na umpisa kong kinanta noon. Tapos, nag-evolve na yon into learning, uh, appreciating the Beatles music. Right. Yun. Tapos, pumasok na yung Motown, pumasok na yung mga Tower of Power, gano'n. Tapos, uh, mga Black Sabbath, mga yeah. kung anong-anong genres. And you would, you yeah. would uh, soak this all in. Yeah. I, and then, uh, I got, in, you know, I got uh, so interested uh, playing drums. Why? Wait. When we, when we, uh, if I fast forward, Kuya Mon, I wanna dissect all of that. So, so kumakanta ka, dumating na tong mga iba-iba mga artist. Uh-huh. What was going through your head? How was this molding you as an artist? I was enjoying the different styles. Okay. You know, uh, uh, listening to James Taylor, listening to Cat Stevens. From, from, from those folk rock artists, pop rock artists, pupunta ka ng Motown, gano'n. Right. Tapos, uh, during those times, uh, palabas na yung mga Chicago. Jukebox, Tower, jukebox pa to, oh, diba? Power of Power. Ng, um, pagpasok ko ng high school, eto na, uh, na, nag-umpisa na ako mag-jam sa mga parties, mga banda-banda, gano'n. Who taught you? Basically, I was, I, I, I was self-taught. So, there was I no was, singer I, in the family? Wala? Ako lang talaga yung nag-pursue. Ako lang oh talaga. Mahilig lahat sila. Kumakanta, yeah. nagigitara din. Pero, uh, um, ako lang yung nag-pursue prof- professionally. What did your parents say when you did this? 
Ah. <laughs> Medyo yung tatay ko, yung my father, hindi sa ano, hindi sa conforme. Uh, nagkaroon kami ng ano ni tatang noon, nagkaroon kami ng uh, diskurso. Mm. Eh, hindi siya, hindi niya sa kanya, you know, it's it's yeah. it's so typical sa sa ating mga magulang. Uh, he was more worried about the economic aspect of it. Hindi di ka, di ka makakabuhay ng pamilya niyan. Ganun, ganun ka agad. Na-appreciate ko naman yung pagiging, you know, pagka-straightforward niya sa akin. Pero nagdamdam ako kasi he, he failed or he, he forgot to ask me first kung ano yung, ano yung isang kamasaya. And I think that's... that's uh, It's important, no? Yeah. Pag naisip ko ngayon yun, na ano ako, yung dibdib ko. Kasi, sabi ko, I, I remember that feeling. Sabi ko, I'll, I won't, I won't uh, say the same things to my children. Sabi ko. I will right. never discourage them kung anong gustuhin nila. Anong, anong path ang gusto nilang tahakin. Did you ask that? Anong field. Kung what makes them, kung anong gusto nilang gawin yung mga well, nyo? In, Never kong ginawa na i-discourage sila sa kanilang... Sa, sa kung anong gusto, support, yeah, yeah. gano'n. Pati nga sa music, hindi ko sila... Hindi ko sila... Uh, kamo, pinupush. I just let it happen. I just uh, allow the that kind of environment yes. to... To be available, to no? To be available. And ngayon, naririnig ko na sa kanila yon. Sila na mismo nagsasabi na, I learned about these things <laughs> through that while he's rehearsing, gano'n. Walang, walang imposition, walang ano. Yung pala, na, ang lakas ng, ano, ng mga yeah, bata eh. Yung, yung osmosis nun talaga. Osmosis. It, it yeah. rubs mm. off on you. Mm. So, Kuya Mon, nung natututo ka na mag-instrument, nung pinigilan kang ni Tatang, did you, you pursued it pa rin behind his back? Parang gano'n ba? Oh, or? yeah. I, I went to Olonga po. Uh, Pumbuesto ka? A group got me to play drums for the first time. Why drums? Yan. Well, d- during, ah, ano ba? Yeah, ah, uh, Pumapalo na ako noon, nag-jam na as a young drummer. Uh, apparently, nagustuhan nila yung pulso. Uh, tapos, uh, I think the other thing that attracted them was the fact that I also sing. Singing drummer? So, I, I, I sang while I, was, I played drums. Uh-huh. And I'll never forget my very first piece as a drummer or singer was Color My World. By? Chicago. Oh, Chicago Color. Ang taas noon. Uh, hindi Mataas lang, ba? tama lang. Tama lang. Pero maganda yung boses sa nang call. Meron alala mo yung alala mo yung flute, may flute solo yes. pa yon. So, ano yon from from my end challenge yon kasi I have to keep time while singing it. Kong ding 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 dun dun dun. Simple lang naman eh, pero hindi ka pwedeng yeah. you know, hindi ka pwedeng lumay lang, hindi ka pwedeng yes. mabilis. Ka, kasi kinakanta mo pa eh. As time goes on, ding, ding, gong, 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 <laughs> I realize. Ganun. Sipra pa tayo nun. <laughs> yes. Exacto dapat. Doon don pumasok yung joke sa mga drummer na, alam mo ba yun, yung joke sa drummer na, yung bagong drummer na, sumusup-sup, <laughs> na-excite masyado, pumasok yung barkada, pasok kayo! <laughs> Sa umpisa, umpisa, patay mali. Urong uso lang. Hindi na siya makapigil. Pasok kayo, pare! Eksakto yung balor. <laughs> alam ko, alam ko bakit ano tatawa. Kasi, alam mo yun. <laughs> nung bago, nung, nung bago kami, pagod na ako, tumutugtog ako, sumisenyo sa ako dun sa kaibigan ko, parang, Tapos <laughs> nabubulong nung lumabas. Ano? Kuha mo akong tubig. <laughs> ito, ito. Pati sa, nasa microphone ba ako? Kasi talaga, pasok kayo ba? <laughs> Kasabay nung balor. <laughs> Akala nung band leader namin, nag-feel in ako. <laughs> oh my God. So naabutan mo yung mga Mardi Gras sa Olonga po. Yeah, oh. Masaya. Tapos na-experience ko rin yung ano, para yung mga araw na walang barko. Hmm. Ibig sabihin yung gutom. Sas- sasabihin nung mali na, kalahati tayo. <laughs> kalahati Pag- tayo. So kung 40 pesos yung sweldo mo, 20 pesos lang yun. You know what? Kulang pa yun sa pasahe mo yes, sa victory liner. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Pero Kuya Mon, ako naiintindihan ko yung Mardi Gras kasi kami ni na JJ. Yung huling Mardi Gras ng Olonga po, 
intro voice had the pleasure of actually playing. Ah. Uh, was it the hard rock or something like that, no? Hard rock o longa po or nung, nung last na Mardi Gras bago umalis yung mga kano. Okay. Pero what was it like nung nandiyan pa yung mga... Ay, piyesta. Piyesta parati. Tsaka ang sarap ng tugtugan. Buhay na buhay ang tugtugan nun doon sa gapo. Doon, doon, doon nang galing sila, no? di ba? Sila Freddy, doon nakapwesto dati. Eh. Ay, nasa isip ko sila Maureen Mauricio, pero okay lang. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen Mauricio. <laughs> hi, 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 Mau. Kay di ako. Vincent. Okay. <laughs> Kasi gawa siya ng... Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, sila ka Freddy, ha? Yeah. yeah. Doon ang mga, yung mga Flintstones. Yes. Mga, mga matitinding rock bands noon. Kasi panahon ng ano yan, eh, Uriah Heep, Black mm. Sabbath. <laughs> so, nung nandun ka, nung nandun Pero ka. kami, ano kami, mas pop Motown kami. Right. Tapos, uh, there were segments na i-feature ako. Kuha ako ng gitara, gano'n. Folk, folk music naman, mga Cat Stevens. Okay, now, that's where I so, want... So, lahat dinaanan natin yan. But here's where I want to go. You said it na ngayon na yung tatanong ko. Eh. You started out as a drum, drummer, may piyesa kang isa, and then later on, fini-feature ka na on guitars. Mm-hmm. It's because you came prepared. Your, your, your jamming days as a kid and all that stuff prepared you for... I was very interested talaga. Parang doon na nagumpisa sa akin yung this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. Now, you didn't want to be at the back. But you would not take him of being in front, and you mm-hmm. before you started being a drummer, you were a singer. Mm-hmm. How were you able to if a forward kuna as uh, you played with what Apo Hiking Society? Sa Apo? I was with them for for almost nine years, yata eight to nine years. Uh, after Touring. before that, before Apo and after Apo, after Apo, the like, solo kani, mm, tama ba? Yeah, uh-oh. yeah, actually, yeah, but but. Merong mga may mga panahon na nag uh, I, I joined some groups, some vocal groups, uh, a band, uh, a jazz band kami nila Tot Solentino. We called it Jazz Fiesta. That's what so I want. You naalala ko na. Uh-uh. What made you go into that genre? Is it maturity or is it because of the challenge? I think it's part of for uh, my my evolution as a as an artist and as a musician. Eh. Kasi nga, ang dami kong dinaan ng natikman ko na iba-ibang genres, mm. iba-ibang styles, kung baka sa pagkain. Yeah. Nagahanap ka ng, you know, kung saan ka makakapirmit at consistently na enjoy mo. At dito sa genre na to, na, na I, I kept discovering new things. <laughs> it's always fresh. And you're... And I that's you. The, that's it, your nature. It, yeah, and it's, it's the freest. I think it's the, one of the freest uh, styles. Kasi you can be your... You can be yourself. You can inject your ideas. Kung baka tuma- natapos ka na dun sa sifra, yeah. sifra phase of, mm, your, mm. of your being a yeah. musician, you're, you're now starting to create your own thing, starting to arrange. So did you start writing? Yeah, nag-umpisa na ako dun. Ang, uh, nag-skip pa tayo, nag- nagpunta pa ako ng College of Music sa UP para, oh, ma- well, let's talk para about matutunan that. Yeah. yun. Yeah. But at first, ang, na, napunta ako sa, sa voice uh, ano to, department, well, I, where, where I got to learn how to project the techniques a classical way, almost operatic. Who was the teacher then? Ah, si Tito Relly, Aurelio Stanislao. Oh my God. What a, what a beautiful spirit. Dalawa silang naging teacher ko doon, ang husay pareho. Tito Relly, Aurelio Stanislao, the late Aurelio Stanislao, mm-hmm. and Elmo Makil. Para, parawa na silang wala eh. Pero ang dami-dami ko natutunan sa kanila. Now, when, when you, when you <clears throat> went to um, College of Music, Abelardo Holin, mm-hmm. that was serioso na. In other words, this was it. Uh, yeah, in, in, in many ways, yeah, serioso. Kasi nga, may tawag natin parang formal training. Yes. Natututo ko na magbasa, natututo ko na mga kung ano-ano, harmony. Ano theory, sabi ni Tatang? Theory. Ah, but during that time, hindi na kami nag-uusap. So there was that lift. Nagkaroon kami ng gap, lift, ni Tatang. Man, halos, oh. halos months halos sumabot ng a year yata yung kasi nga naggagapo na ako noon before that bago ko kapunta ng UP College of Music uh, parang tinabi ko na muna yung issue na yon kasi I felt hindi ko ma-resolve I just had to move forward 
Hi. How did it feel moving forward ng walang support ng magulang? Ka? Wala. Actually, I was on my own. I was on my own. Uh, I was self... Uh, sufficient. Self-sufficient, self-supporting. At, but before that, before the UP thing happened, nakapagbiyahe ako. Ito pa, na-skip na naman natin to. Nag-Japan ako for, for many years. Doon ako nakapag-save. Many meaning how many years? Naka six. Anong nakabalik ako doon? Parating four months, six months. Ganun. Okay, so ito na yung challenge na tanong. Ang sabi ni Tatang, economically speaking, hindi feasible. Mm-hmm. But you were able to go, go to Japan six times and you were able to make a living out of being in a band. Mm-hmm. You've never sat down with Tatang to resolve that? Na... Alam mo, na-resolve na siya uh, uh, in a gradual way. Pabisi-bisita. Oh. Tapos, yeah, and... Um, uh, I'm grateful for the fact na towards the end, before he passed on, naramdaman niya yun. Without, without telling me, pero nakita ko sa kanya yun kasi nakapag-attend siya ng isang gig ko sa Manila. If you recall, Music Hall? Yeah. Hit na hit Music yes. Hall, no, di ba? Sa Annapolis? Yes. That was the time na I was, I think I was with Tilly Moreno yata or with Unforgettable, with George Xavier, na yes. Ventor and Pinky Marquez. Nakadalaw siya. Napaka rare noon para lumawas siya. How did it feel? And I saw I saw from a, from the stage yung glow sa mukha ng nitatang. And right there and then feel, oh naman, my god. Pero ku- kuya mo. Ah, emotional to me. Nararamdaman ko 'yon sa mukha niya na parang tinanggap niya na. But you were Mon David nung tan- <clears throat> nung panahon na 'yon already. Uh, yes. Hindi pa. No, yes you were. Hmm. Well, I've been active, I've been performing here and there, pero pero yeah. Yes. Well, siguro, konti. <laughs> Pero uh, I, ako, ako, I was, I was, ano, I was really focused on what I wanted to achieve musically, artistically. Kasi nga, there was a time nga, parang feeling ko, appreciate ba nila itong mga nagagawa? <laughs> I'm sure it, that also happens to you every yeah. now and then. Oh, every, as a musician. Time. Yung insecurity na yun, na parang, mm. okay, paghihirapan natin to. Dati nagtatampo nga kami pa sa mga tao na, pinaghirapan namin to ilalabas namin and then nagising kami sa katotohanan na you know not everybody will appreciate they don't it. Yeah. they don't owe us anything yeah. and then then that brought the humility back to yeah. to us na parang it became you know what sana magustuhan nyo and which reminds me ngayong minention mo yun yung them not owing us anything I was talking to a friend a music lover sabi ko, alam mo, hindi ko makakalimutin sinabi ni Pat Metheny sa isang interview. Sabi ko, it may sound self-centered and selfish, pero uunahin mo muna yung fulfillment mo. Yes. Bago mo may bigay yun sa listener. Yes. Kasi pag hindi ganun ang, ang process o paraan, you will be dishonest mm-hmm. sa sarili mo. Contrite yung kumagawa. In other words, you, you create your thing, you create your repertoire, you work on it, You choose your songs, songs that express who your, you are, yeah. who you are yes. your views and your opinion about life. You're in fulfillment mo, and no nobody can take that away from you. And you don't need any reward or any award from from Kasi uh, any yun, external yun validation. Yun eh. validation mo sa yes, mo. yes. So, but of course, you know, in all humility, di ba ginagawa natin lahat ito with gratitude. Singa. And that I think that's exactly exactly the same reason why you you can be calm as you right, go through it. Yeah. Kasi ano siya eh? It's your thing eh. Personal siya eh. Galing oh. Nagiging special lalo. Nag- bonus na lang yung pag may, may lumapit. Oh, you moved me with that thing. I was so inspired by that, by what you did, by what you said, by what you sang. Bonus na lang. Bonus na sa atin yun, di ba? Take home natin yun. Yeah. Sa- And nung, nung time na nung time na ayan na nga, 'di ba? Pwepuesto ka na nga without with with because now you're speaking with such maturity when it comes to to your to your journey. But going through the journey, nung time na nasa pop scene ka and then meron kang jazz scene. And you know, you were you were you were surrounded by people na sifra pa rin and all that. Did you it ever occur to you na nagkaroon ka ba ng ng, hindi naman condescending aura but you know what I'm talking about Kuya Mon na parang ah, ako aral ako hindi, hindi, hindi or did it make you more generous to bring in people actually in? Uh, there's this 
inner desire to to share it eh. Yon. Basta may pagkakataon, sabik na sabik kang i-share yung that kind of joy. Yeah. Kasi hindi mo mako-contain yun na pansarili lang eh. I mentioned a while ago yung dapat fulfill ka muna, di ba, sa sarili mo. Right. Ang kasunod nun yun eh. How, how you can share it with, with people, mm. especially with fellow uh, musicians right. and singers. Who would be interested? Kasi siyempre, hindi mo naman pwedeng impose yan eh. So, hindi mo pwedeng impose sa kanila kasi some, some things take time talaga, di ba? Yeah. So, kailangan mo muna, makinig ka, kailangan mo na, i-expose mo yung sarili mo. And then you realize, ako nga, nung bata pa ako, yung pag sinabi yung jazz, yung ganyan, naiingayan ako, nagugulungan ako. Too many chords, too many, too many uh-huh. scales, too many notes <laughs> happening here. So it's too confusing. And then later on, nasasakyan ko na unti-unti. Ah, kaya pala, sabi ko. Kaya pala, ganun, ganun, ganun pala. Kaya pala tinatawag silang masters. Kaya pala, they went through decades and decades of ano. To that, achieve what they achieved, yeah, diba? Parang uh-huh. ganun. And then you, you start respecting the craft, respecting the dedication, respecting the, the hard work the love for it. <clears throat> Kasi in the end, pag di mo mahal at di mo na-enjoy, hindi mo magagawa. Eh. So, nung time na to, mm-hmm. nung, nung time na na-enjoy mo na yung, yung gusto mong gawin, was it at a crossroad na, okay, magiging instrumentalist ba ako or magiging solo artist ako as a singer? When, don't answer it, we'll, we'll take a commercial break and then. <laughs> And then we'll let you answer that. Interesting yung mga tanong mo eh. Kasi talaga nangyayari eh. And we are back. Oh, with Mr. Mon David. Ayan o, nakakatuwa. Okay, Kuya Mon. Instrumentalist? Soloist? Oh, I, I did, ang, ang, ang question is not ano ang pinuntahan mo but question is what was now in your heart because ikaw is heart muna and then ima-manifest mo yun eh diba? you, you, you have to know it from the inside eh. so what was inside your heart now was it eventually I will go solo I will be in front I will hold the mic I will or was it I will be a drummer I will be a guitar player I will be a I'll never forget that that phase when I was still full time ako sa Apo Hiking Society when I was their drummer I never forget that feeling while witnessing seeing them entertain people thousands and thousands of people kasi inabot ko yung peak nila eh right. like ultra pa kami right alam mo yung panahon ng etaw na yeah. po sila ano yeah. na po dumadagundong yung ultra di ko mara di ko ma-explain yung pakiramdam <laughs> nasakit ako mhm this is Lori Illustre Gum- Pinsan ni JJ yun, ha? Yung tao. Gum- gum- At tito pala, o. Oh, tito ni JJ. Dumadagundong talaga yung tao. Hit na hit talaga. Ang apo, yung music nila. Saan doon ako tumutugtog? Tapos tour kami. Uh, America, hmm. Australia, Middle East. You know, lahat na ng klaseng iba-ibang experiences na experience. You na had fun. Them. I mean, you oh, did yeah. it for it a long was, time. I, I would consider it uh, one of the you know, uh, one of the most enriching stages of my musical journey. Right kahit na sabihin mo pang ibang genre siya, narandaman ko rin doon yung, I want to do this. I want to be in front one of these days. I want to sing. I want to create my own music. I want to, you know, be right there. Nag-enjoy ako mag-accompany, mag-session. Yeah. Natututo rin ako eh. And then, so I consider that uh, a, a really enriching exposure and, and, and uh, fulfilling and informative lahat na ng klasing ano na mag, magpapalusog sa yung uh, craft ando na ando na yeah. ando na tapos iba ibang klase ng audiences lahat fulfill lahat nag enjoy grabe grabe yung experience you know? and they were the biggest act nung... they were the they were our Beatles they were yeah. our Bee Gees uh, yes and dami pang hits daming hits oh. so you were there nung American Junk of course yeah yeah da 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 How'd you get the gig? Oh, uh, alam mo, ang ganda-ganda ng nakakatawa. Interesting yung story ng pag, yung gig na yan. I was with a, a group called Four Play. Mm. Uh, and we were doing a lot of, uh, a lot of Manhattan transfer uh, songs. Um, 
minsan nagka-problema itong drummer namin, hindi nakasipot. So, panic si Butch Dan, sa aming yeah, manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sabi oh, niya, so si Butch Dan's din ang manager. Yeah, oo. Oh, oh. God rest Ay, him. Ay, nako. Kaibigan natin yeah. yan. Ang pare ko yun, kaibigan, Ninong, lahat-lahat na mentor. Mm. Beautiful soul. Yes. Anyway, uh, sabi niya, papano to? Sabi niya, na, wala tayong biglaan nito. Ano? Wala ba tayong makukuha ng drummer dyan? Wait, you were singing sa foreplay? I was frontliner. Oh, Lord. I was front, hindi pa niya alam. Wala kang alam si Butch. I was frontliner. <coughs> Apat kami. Kasama ko si MC Hata, MC Cortesa, Judy Torres, and, and uh, uh, Ico Bonnevi. Sabi ko, sige, sampan na muna ako. Sabi ko, ha? Sabi niya, kaya naman. Walang mura sa <laughs> drama. Di mo sinasakit drama. Yeah. Di you didn't naman, tell them? Di, di mo naman tinatanong eh. Sabi <laughs> Sampa ako. By then, ano na ako, sanday na ako yes. kasi na-train ako sa Olongo po. Yeah. Tsaka kabisado ko yung rep namin. Yeah. So, kanta ako, balo. Siyempre, konting kalawang. Pero, nakaraos yeah. naka yung gabi. Si Butch, sila, tayo na ako. That's a gold mine. So, sabi niya, pwede ka ba sa apo? Nagbabasa ka ba? Yeah, sabi ko. Butch! <laughs> Ganon, doon na nag-umpisa yun. Imagine, I think I became no? their drummer. But imagine, Kuya Mon, alam mong manager si Butch Dance ng Apo. Mm-hmm. Right? But you never, you never nudged him and said, pasok mo naman oh, ako dyan. Well, uh, the other thing is, I was really, I was really focused on the, the vocal group at that time. Parang tinabi ko yung drums muna. Kaling, no? Tinabi ko muna kasi nag, kasi that, yun naman ang aking um, initial orientation sa vocal harmony, yung foreplay. Kasi right. nagsisipra na kami ng mga four-part harmony na manhand transfer. Tinitinga namin. Tapos, kukwento ko sa ibang singers, ito yung sa'yo, ha? Four brand! Ito yung sa'yo, four brand! <laughs> so, Classing. that being said, you were passionate doing this, Mm-mm. and then pinasentan ka na naman ng fork on the road. Yeah. What was the conversation in your head? Well, uh, uh, ano yan, eh? tinatawag yan, mga, mga turning points, di ba? Yeah. Uh, yung pagpasok ko sa Apo Hiking, turning point sa buhay ko yan. Kasi talagang tinabi ko lahat. Okay. Ito naman. Naging drummer na nila ako. Later on, naging coach pa ako, vocal coach at some point. Tinabi ko na lahat yung... Right. Tinabi ko muna yung... Kasi hanap buhay din eh. Yes. That bago, time, you bago know. Bago natin puntahan yun, since hanap buhay and all that stuff. Were you single or married at this time? Ah, single pa ako na. Single. Kaya wala pang... So you had all the time in the world? I had all the time. Okay. So now, fork in the, on the road, turning point. Andiyan ang foreplay. Kinausap ka ng manager ng foreplay, ng manager ng Apo. Si, si, si Butch Dads bang ang nagsabi sa kanila or did you have to break it to them na... Hindi ko hindi ko maalala kung paano uh, basta I just found myself doing Apple gigs. Tapos umabot na sa ilang taon, halos less than a decade. Tapos naging barkada na kami, naging magkukumpare. So when you when you when you when you joined Apple for the first time, what was it like? Ah. <clears throat> ah, ano 'yon? Uh, a slice of heaven 'yon. So was this a was this a given gig or did you have to audition with the Tito Lori and all that and stuff? Hindi na. Parang upo ka na dyan, game. Yeah. Oh, ganun. Okay. I just had to learn the pieces. You know, take home ko yung, tinake home ko yung mga areglo. At doon ako, doon ko natuto yung, you know, playing different meters. Alam mo na, may mga areglo yeah. ng Apo. Ano yan? Eh? Challenging yan. Mm-hmm. Eh? Biglang, biglang mag, mag-waltz. Biglang mag, you know, ibang magpapasidoble. Ganun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all sorts of meters. Uh, you have to play them. Uh, mga medleys. Apo medley. They're known for that, di ba? Meron, pang, meron pa silang napaka-popular na hit na pyesa yesterday's yesterday. Tumatal, tumatalon yung pyesa. Tumatalon yung joke. So yung pagtugto, ganun din. Parang, parang sirang plaka na ano. Oh, kaya habuli mo yun. Kaya skip. So Pero skip. Naka, nakasulat lahat nakasulat yun. Nakasulat lahat. Oh my brilliant, God. Brilliant idea. Which reminds me, I digress, but si Tito Lori is here, di ba? Hindi. Vegas, Vegas. Vegas, Vegas. Vegas. Playing for VST. I think VST. Oh. VST siya ngayon, di ba? Yeah, okay. And he's been doing the Vegas shows, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ano doon? 
So okay, so now you, let's talk about your your Apple life. The first year, how close were you with uh, Buboy Danny and and Jim? Oh, we became very close right uh, away. Uh, uh, hindi naman pero nag 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 evolve yon talaga into Let's talk that, about uh, the evolution. The why? Because may mga nanonood sa audience who think na hindi po rin kabinigay sa yon. Eh dapat naglalakad ka na kung saan sa. You have to earn your spot, eh, di ba? You oh, have to oh, oh. you have to build your reputation. Mm-hmm. So how 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 did you build your reputation within the unit or within the Apo uh, uh, hiking society bubble? I tried I tried uh, I tried my best to deliver as a session, you know, session yeah. session musician cut. So you you're there to 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 support the music, yes. to support the front line. Did they know did they know that you sang well? at this point or I dito think, naman sa apo tinago mo naman na magaling kang kumanta I think they had they had an idea because I was I was already with Four Play which was being managed by Butch Dan yeah. so and in fact in some events we would do front act front act for them okay so alam na nila <laughs> but during those years wala pa sa akin yung ano to go solo and right I started but but I started learning it vicariously experiencing it Obviously, because of Apo, it's of my association with them. Sino band leaders sa kanilang tatlo? Was actually, it Danny? Ac- actually, lahat sila eh. Pero uh, I would say Jim was the most aggressive in terms Talaga? of in terms of uh, you know pushing or uh, coming up with some ideas. Pero lahat sila uh, contribute. Sino uh, pinagtatay? But uh, of course, Buboy will always be the third member of the group. <laughs> 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 As the joke goes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim. I, I'm the third member of the group. <laughs> But I, I, I really think he's the one who, who you know, siya yung taga, ano, taga kalma ng, <laughs> ng buong grupo, taga oh. balance. I think that, that's his, uh, one of his best roles there. When did you Apaka start objective. arranging vocals for them? Ah, uh, f- I, it started... Uh, Uh, with uh, some um, vocal exercises, I would conduct lessons for them. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, and then it it, it, uh, it turned into a. Uh, sabi ni Jim, "Mon, reglo ko naman ng ano ng sa pieza for." The, I chose Luman Tung Tugin. Luman Tung Tugin. Oh, I chose Luman. And during that time, they inspired ako sa ginagawa ni Bobby McFerrin. Uh, you know, lahat ginagawa ni yung boss ay so gagawa. Oh, the patud, bit, pakopo, patud. Pahit saan ka man? Did it, did it, did it. So, nag-create lang ang ganung arreglo. <laughs> Tapos naging, nag, nag-ano siya, nag, you know, na-enjoy namin lahat. And then, that, that evolved into a jam piece dun sa dulo. We kept it open, yung nagkaroon ng vamp sa dulo. So, ah, kung ano-ano nangyayari pag ginagawa namin live yun. nag inject sila ng mga happy birthday songs. Kung <laughs> <laughs> ano nung folk songs, mga, eh, mga pabuli na. <laughs> And then it became, ano, Oh, wait lang. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then? So that became a, a hit. Uh, wait lang ha, Kuya Mona. Um, we'll stay here. <laughs> okay, come on. Well, yes. Can you hear me? Oh my Are God, ladies and gentlemen. Is that Arnel Pineda? What's up, man? What's up, Arnel? Si Mr. Mon David in the <laughs> in the house. Hello, sir. Po? Po kayo? <laughs> yeah, man. My okay, God. Na, Nel. Baka Nel. Nag- <laughs> Nel. Can you make survivor or survive it? <laughs> We will survive. Nagpa-podcast kami. Nandito kami sa studio. So we're having a podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patiin mo yung mga audience natin. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everyone. Uh, to the audience of Pocket Place. Yes, big sir now, Pineda. All right. Signing in. I hope to yes. see you soon, brother. Love you. Yes, pare yo. Sige, bro. Bye-bye. Sir, Sir Mondavid. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Kumusta? Bye-bye. Ingat, Sige ingat. Po, ingat po kayo. Ingat, Kaya bye-bye. Po. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Papi. Thank you. Bye. Ayun. Arnel Pineda, nag-hello pa. He knew that you were going to be here. Oh. So, thank you, Arnel. Okay. So, Pineda. 
Naalala ko bigla. Baka may dugong kapampangan din si Arnel. Kapampangan si Arnel. Ah, kaya pala. Oh. Mm. So he's been the singer of Journey for ilang taon na? Tagal-tagal na rin, no? Tagal na siyang singer ng Journey. And I think he's here for the Bamboo. Oh, nabalitaan Arnel ko. Bamboo concert na ang magda-drums. Si Rolly. Si Kabalen Rolly. Another Kabalen si Rolly Kizon. The Mr. Backbeat. Grabe. 2007? Oh my God, small world, no? So, okay. So, tapos, so, yung lumang tugtugin na haluan ng mga kung ano-ano. Uh, yun, na, na-inspire ako dun sa mga ginagawa ni McFerry no, na a cappella, bosses lahat. I provided, I created the bass line and the percussion uh, through my voice. Tapos, nag-create ako ng mga r- rhythmic patterns uh, na chord. Tapos, nag ng kami sa soloing. Uh, naging fun. Naging fun piece siya talaga. Naging jam piece, lalo na sa dulo. Kasi, so, tapos, Ayun, parating parating ginagawa namin sa yeah, mga would, gigs you, ng Apo. Yes. In fact, inuwi nila ako. <laughs> this is funny. Inuwi nila ako sa kanilang 40th. I think the, the, uh, it was their 40th anniversary sa Araneta. Mm-hmm. Tapos nung malaman ko, oh, ano ang gagawin natin? Kakantahin niyo lang yung lumang tugtugin. <laughs> I remember, I, you know what, now that, now that, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys played this sa sanglinggo na po sila. Yata. Oh, so, yes. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Na- hindi mo na maalala yun o naalala? Hindi mo na maalala? Guest ang intro voice yun dahil regular din kami sa sangalala oh, na po oh. sila. And hindi ko ba sa Delta Theater pa yata ito eh. Uh, sa may, sa may Cousin, Cousin Boulevard? Yes. Yeah, oh. And then, and then oh, I, I, was, I was totally blown away. Silang tatlo and then you were there. Kayong apat ang nandun. Did this, hap- this happens, di ba? Na ganon and all that stuff. And it became a, like a, it became a, a fixture, a permanent fixture sa mga shows nila. Kasi, na, kasi that's, that was the only a cappella na, na may, may jam segment sa dulo. Kaya, tapos, ano, isa sa mga gigs nila yun. Ang galing. Oh. Sabi ko, kibeta, kay Butch, yuwi niyo ko. Sabi ko, papalo ba ako? <laughs> no, kantahin niyo lang ilumang tigtig. Yun lang pinag-sabi sa <laughs> Okay, makakadalo ba ako sa family ko? Sabi ko. I said fun, yes. Fun. Yeah, of course. Okay. So now, <laughs> Speaking of um, speaking of um, nung time na to, sino sino na ang musical director was it still Tito Lori? I think it was still Lori. Ah, uh, oh, hindi uh, si, si si Boyet na yata, Boyet, Boyet okay. Pigao. Oh. The, the musical director, ha? Boyet Pigao was the musical director na. Si Lori muna tapos uh, pumalit si Boyet sa sa dulo. When so when you did the Lumang Tugtugin, was it still I'm trying to recall si Lori pa ba yun? And because my question uh, is... Parang na dito ni yata si Lori noon eh, sa Vegas. Eh. My question is, what was you, kung nandun si Tito Boy at Pigao, si, what was your role na sa, sa apo ng mga panahon na yun? Ah, nung pumalis si... Nung umalis na ako. Okay. Nung si Boy no, at na. Si Boy at pumalit, pumalit sa akin right. actually. Right. But so when you were there and you were doing Lumang Tugtugin, you were doing the vocalization, mm-hmm. the arrangement. Ah, tumatayo ako for that piece. What was your relationship with the musical director? Oh, it was fine. It was it was okay. So, and the reason why I ask, may may mga bandang nag-aaway dahil may ego sila. Ah. And and you you were in the biggest band at that time. So I would just assume the ego that was in the room were a lot. I I fortunately I I didn't experience that. Lori is a, a great uh, person, a great musical director. I learned a lot from him. Hindi lang sa Apo kundi sa mga jingle, commercial jingles. Yun ang, isa yun sa kinabuhay ng pamilya ko din doon eh. I was singing jingle, commercial jingles here and there. Kung sino-sino, sila Charo Onite, even Willie Cruz, sila. I think nakagawa pa yata ako kila Louis Ocampo. Wow. Isa, yun ang racket natin noon eh. Yun ang, you know, that's how you survive, di ba? Yes. Naging part din ako ng, ano, I, I, we used to do the multiplex. Yeah. Multiplex. Kami rin, gumawa ka. Alala mo? I, yes! And then I heard, Naalala ko si Lani rin, ginagawa niya yun. Lahat, That, iba-ibang bosses. Lani Misalucha was one of my major talents ng multiplex. Mm. Si na Medwin Marfield, si JJ, okay. would, would do arrangements mga, sa mga multiplex. Mm. Tapos si na Jonathan Buen Camino kakanta, si na uh. Medwin Marfield ng True Faith ang kakanta, si na Lani, sa Fullerton namin gagawin sa studio Fullerton, namin. Fullerton, yeah. Yun, yung manager namin yung may-ari noon. Ah, okay. So we would do all the multiplex there. Tapos kami naman, yung nauso yung laser disc, okay. racket din yun. Okay. Kami naman yung model na... 
<laughs> Ang daming nakakalkal dito. <laughs> But you learn a lot from it. I learned a lot of, you know, yung, yung know, pagsifra ng iba-ibang boses, yeah. iba-ibang lyrics. And pati si Lani Misalucha, that's yeah. how she, yeah. she sharpened her skills yeah. also. Studio work. Yes. Being there on time, I think that's one of the most yun ang, yun ang hindi things. Ma, yun ang hindi may iwasan eh. Yung, mm. yung once a project starts, it snowballs na eh. Mm. And then tulad niya ng sinayo mo, Kuya Mon, pag hindi, pag hindi uh, pumarada ang barko, gutom. And it happens in cycles eh, di ba? Uh-huh. So now, wala ka na sa Apo, how was it like saying goodbye to them? It was, it was as, I, as I mentioned a while ago, a, a huge turning point. Na naman. Alam mo yung alam mo yung yung ano to nag-aaway yung dibdib mo. Kung tutuloy mo o hindi. Para nanaig pa rin yung ano yung yung my yung my vision for myself kung saan ko gustong pumunta. But uh, they were very dear to me. They were, we were very close and my family namin. So it was it was may konting ano painful din magpaalam mag uh, But you were man enough to do it. Yeah, and, and uh, I really wanted to pursue a, a career. Uh, ganun pa nga ako eh, parang pikit mata, ang isang mata, pero I was, I was really, it was firm ako sa aking vision okay. to, to Can pursue you, it. I'm going to dissect that, Kuya Mona, because sa amin, ang experience says namin, we've been ghosted, we've been abandoned, we've been, mm-hmm. you know, just back turned against us na ganun-ganun na lang. And, And I guess people watching have experienced that thing too. In your case, it was, it was planned, it was thought about, may, may sakit, but can you walk us through the proper way of saying goodbye to a band unit? I was prepared uh, to a certain extent, but I was also, uh, I kind of anticipated kung anong klaseng difficulties or hardships ang haharapin ko. And since uh, it became it became even more challenging, because by then the family na ako eh. Okay, di natin mo na pag-usapan yung family part. Ah. May say the scene set up kuya ne, eh. but mm-hmm. yung meeting with Butch Dance. Did you say Butch? Can I talk to you? Or did he say, Mon? Parang may nakikita ako ng iba sa yon. Can we talk? Who who opened up the conversation? It, it wasn't. Uh, it became it became easier because nga. By then, ano na kami ni Butch, eh, kilala, kilala na niya ako, kilala ko na rin siya. So, uh, I guess naramdaman niya yun eh. Naramdaman niya na papunta na ako sa And that's how a good yun. manager is, di ba? Oh, yeah. Nararamdaman niya yung progression ng bawat tao niya eh. So, when and, he... And, and Butch, uh, always, res- she, he respects, uh, he respected the, the artists, right. the musicians. Ganun ang ano niya, pagpahalaga niya sa mga artists at musicians eh. So, hindi, hindi niya pipigilan pag alam niya na um, yun ang makakabuti So, nung binigyan ka niya ng opening, you took it as an opportunity to say goodbye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, alam mo, walang formal na ano, hindi kami umupo. Pa- parang, naiintindihan namin pareho yun. That's how close we were. That's how he knew me. That's how I knew, knew Was there something me. like, I'm not doing the next tour? Was there something like that? Wala. Mabuti naman. <laughs> hindi ako umabot sa point na mamimili ako ng ganong ka, <laughs> ka-tempting na. Alam so mo na, umisa, nagirapig iba. So tinaming mo, Kuya Mon, sa downtime ng Apo. I think that that was what happened. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Kaya nga sinasabi, tinatawag kong turning point kasi nga, you, you give up a lot of things, di ba? When you left Apo... In order to achieve this one thing. Right. When you left Apo, were you... Still single? Hindi na. Hindi na. May family na. Okay. When we come back, pag-uusapan natin yung part na yan ng buhay ni Mon David. And we're back with Mr. Mon David. Nakaka-inspire, nakakatuwa. So, Kuya Mon, pag mo sa Apo, hindi ka na single. Hindi na. So somewhere along the way, Nagkakilala kayo ni Ate Ann. Mm-hmm. Matagal na kaming magkakilala. Yun ang gusto ko malaman. Matagal so, bago, bago, bago pa nangyari yung mga yan, magkaibigan na kami. Sa, sa kayo nagkakilala? <laughs> sa isang party na pinajama ko, pinakanta ko ng Color My World. Oh, that's that your first piece. Napaka, napaka-historic ng song na yan. Eh. 
Uh, tapos yun, that that song made it happen for the both of us. So you were when you went to Japan, her girlfriend mo na si Ate Anon. Kakila. Shot na ba tayo noon? Yata. Mag, magkaibigan na. Oh, magkaibigan na kami noon. Hindi pa super lalim siguro. Parang ano, para ako na budol-budol doon sa. <laughs> yung mga sagot ng mga artista, friends lang kami. <laughs> So, off and on. Off and on. Kasi okay. biyahe ako ng biyahe. Okay. <laughs> Then. So, alam mo na, may kasamang, may mga episodes yan. Eh. Yeah. Yung off and on na yun. Eh. Masakit yung iba uh, doon. Oh, yeah. Matinding issue yan. Yes. Okay. Kaya nga, kaya <laughs> di ba? Mga ja- Japanese collection. <laughs> 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 Yung biglang may know. uuwi, ganun. Yung biglang may dadalaw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so finally, you decided to to tie the knot. Mm-hmm. What compelled you to? Where was was uh, at the end pregnant or? Oh no, we we we. Kami in dalawa nag decision nung. So kailan we nagis kailan kayo nagis seryoso? Ah, uh, nag seryoso na ba tayo na sa Japan ako? Off and on din yun eh, no? Yeah. How long have you been married? Uh, Just na, para lang alam nila yung pinag-uusapan Alam mo, magugulat ka. We, we, we've known each other for 48 years. See, 48 years? We've been married for 38 years. God bless. Uh, That deserves us. So, so even before we tied the knot, magkaibigan kami for almost nine years. Ano? Yeah, okay. So ayun na. And that's a testament na your success really can't be your own. Kasi ako sinasabi ko rin sa amin dito na yung asawa ni Michael, yung asawa ko si Jaja, shout out to both of them, wala itong Pacos Place kung oh. wala kaming support ng mga asawa namin. Pareho tayo. Ganon din ako. I, will, I won't be able to do these things without my family, without them yes. supporting me. Yes. Always. She's always been there. And that's why, uh, you know, uh, ang laki ng pasasalamat ko. I, I, every day, nagpapasalamat ako sa kanya at sa, you know, sa ating Amen. Panginoon. Yes. So, to, I think that's, that's a huge part of uh, wh- what makes us uh, calm and peaceful and at the same time hopeful. Yeah. Despite all the despites. <laughs> diba? That's despite true. all the, challenge, the challenges that we've been going through. Especially itong year na to, itong the 2020, pandemic, yeah. 2020. But at the same time, pinagpapasalamatan mo kasi I, I, I think in, this is my experience, COVID-2020 will always be the most reflective phase in my life. Alam ko marami rin ang nakadama nun eh. Yep. You know, uh, collective eh. Collective things, emotion you know, sorting eh. Sorting things out. At, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, reflecting on, on the things that really matter. Yeah. Diba? You realize na ang dami pa na nating excess baggage just sa bahay natin, pati sa utak natin, ang dami nating mga... Diba? Na dami na pwede nang hindi isipin. Yeah. Uh, uh, All natin. the trivial stuff in our heads. Yeah. Uh, na, naka, ano, nakakakalma at the same time kasi nga, hindi ka na ngayon, ano, hindi ka na pressured. Uh, even our social gatherings. Yes. Di ba parang na-free tayo from that? Yeah. Uh, yung alam mo yung misan hindi ka makahindi. Ngayon. O misan, you just, you end up trying to please people. Yep. Of course, kasama yung misa kasi family eh. Alam natin yung pamilya eh. Oh, may ano dito. May ano dito. Yung kalendari mo, punong-puno. Uh, yeah. Kasi nga, nagbibigay ka, nagmamahal ka. Kasama yun eh. Yung, yung compromise, di ba? But, After COVID, na ano yon? Parang na balance yon. You know, it it allowed us to to focus on what's really important. important. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yun. So okay, so nagpakasal na kayo. You were you were may momentum yung career. How many children do you have? We have four, four and five grandchildren. Oh my God, it's a it's getting to be a big family. God bless They're you. They're all adorable. And um, what what I'm really grateful for is the fact that we all live in the same 
you know, area. Our children are two miles away from us, so we get to see them almost every other day. Ganong kami ka kadikit. And uh, it, it's so, we're so, uh, kami ni Ann, tuwan-tuwa kami na nawi-witness namin yung pag-develop ng mga yung grandchildren. Kasi nakita na namin yung, yung chil- yeah. the four children, no, nagpam- kanya-kanyang pamilya. Sila. Lahat ba sila out of the nest na? Yeah. Uh, except for, for the, the youngest. Mm. Lapas yung family. Pero may partner siya, of course. Okay, okay, okay. So, eto na. So now, as your family was getting bigger, was that one of the reasons why you wanted to go your own way also? Nung time ng Apo stint? Like, if not now, when? Was that part of the turning point, ika nga? Uh, it happened. Uh, it, it coincided with my growth as a musician. And you know, uh, to decide, to, to finally decide to, do a, to be a frontliner. Mm. And uh, kasabay na doon yung, yung as a songwriter, as a, as, a, uh, as an evolving, evolving musician, choosing this kind of, this style you know, yes, yes. that fulfills me. Uh, ayun, uh, and tapos dumating na yung mga opportunities here and there. Uh, parang nasimento yun lalo from my end. Enjoy it. I, w- I was I was having the time of my life. What was the conversation so, like with Dano with Ate Ann? Na, 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 because ano yun eh, apu yun eh, like, yeah. di ba? So, how did you did you tell her first or did you leave apu and then pagwi sa bay? Wala na nga pala ako sa apu. Wala na tayong backstage pass. Uh, uh, Parang ako kami kina <laughs> kina kabahan kung pa paano. Okay. So so I guess yung, that's normal. Kayo muna dalawa nag usap. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's normal, di ba? Yung kabohaya, yeah. yung future, yung and uh, like I said, nakaganyan yung isang mata ko. Right. Uh, share in siguro. Okay, yun. But I think the fact that we're, we're you know, we're solid. Sa yun yun eh. Yun. I think that's the secret. Eh. It's, it, it's important, yeah. right? Nalalessen yung fears. No? Yeah. Yung anxiety kasi meron kang katuwang. Yes. I think that's the word. May, may katuwang ka sa buhay. So now, you, now you're on your own. You're, you are your own business. Mm-hmm. Mon David Incorporated. Pressure on you, eyes on you. Mm-mm. Oh, and I became I became uh, third line one of the third lines uh, artists. Yes, and Butch became my my sort of personal manager, along with Beta, Barkada rin ganon. So it was a very open uh, relationship, walang tension ko ikanga. So now you were doing this. Why didn't you put your own band together? Uh, I've always wanted to ask you that, ha? Minsan iniisip ko, di ba parang, hindi ko lang kung tinuwa ko yung Martin Rivera yun eh. Because uh, si Martin, ang sagot niya sa akin nung nag-hamburger kami, he had Louis Ocampo and his one-man band and that was it. Uh-huh. Pero uh, you're one of the people I wanted to ask, why didn't you put your own band together when you had all the opportunity to do so? I was with a, uh, before I, I became a solo artist, I was also with a, a band, yeah. the, the quartet, or but, play. But, but the apat Yeah. Now this is Mon David Incorporated. Oh, I, 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 was, uh, I would use session musicians. Okay. The, sa- the same group of people, no? No, iba-iba. Because uh, with Apple, you were the same group of musicians, yeah, right? Palagi. Hindi, iba-iba to. Ibang mga session players at mga naging kaibigan sa industriya. Was it because uh, because of your evolving creativity you were will you wanted to pick and choose? I think that was a, a big part of it. You know, yung as as a creative musician, you you know, you you hear these things in your head na ah, bagay ito dito, ah, swak ito dito, swak ito dito. Mm-hmm. Ha, that's how we build our repertoire. Yes. Uh, as well. Now speaking of repertoire, over the years you've built you've built a big catalog of music. What would you say is your apex? Yung talagang ayan mo David yan. Yan it it ito yon, so that the listeners can listen to them. What would you recommend them to start with? Uh, I don't know. That's uh, I'm not sure if I can I can point one or two pieces na. Uh, it's like it's like uh, having children, <laughs> it's, it's like 
choosing kung sino yung favorite din pag, pag, pag tinanong tayo ang hirap sagutin noon kasi may kanya-kanya silang qualities yeah. ganun din yung mga songs eh. uh, there was this song that which was uh, recognized sa Awit Awards na they called it best jazz recording because of the fact that it was that it had horns uh, pinaarrange ko kay Bon Samson it's called let go and it had this big band feel right. and where i got to scat in the middle and i wrote the the lyrics and but when i wrote that that piece i was really writing it for myself i was trying to to you know uh what do you call this uh it became a, a like a a self inspirational piece let go let go of all your hang ups let go of all your fear you know go back to your authentic self ganun tipo let go of all the the, the ne- you know the, the toxic feelings pero ang feeling big band ganun right, tapos right, right. gigiskata ko sa gitna at some point pinasolo ko si Tot Salentino it was really fun sa studio at saka sa rehearsals and then pinansin ng ng awit siguro dahil walang gumagawa masyado ng ganun no actually and, ikaw nga ang <clears throat> ikaw, ikaw nga lang ang nagsascat eh and oh. then they did they compare it to Algero at one point Yeah, some 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 quarters would would yeah, they were. Uh, comment uh, on those things, but of course he was also one of my uh, uh, influences and inspirations. Dami dami nila, di ba? Yeah. And uh, pag nakikinig ka talaga, somehow na may napupulat ka. Eh. Yeah. And I keep I keep telling some of my students na we borrow we borrow from each other. Sometimes we even steal. Sabi pa talo hindi maganda yon. Mas maganda yung You know, my influence kana lang, and then come up with your own thing. Yes, yes, yes. Come up with your own sound and your ideas, and uh, it doesn't happen overnight. You have to continue learning and practicing, and you know, evaluating. Record yourself, listen to yourself. Tapos subukan mo magjam para maramdaman mo yung fear at the same time yung fulfillment. Na oh, ginawa ko to, ginawa ko yun. Oh, that happened pala. Misan you'll surprise yourself. Sabi ko na. May ginawa ka na hindi mo naman pinlano, nangyari lang doon. And that, we call that uh, being in the moment. Are you very critical of yourself? Uh, at, at some point, I have become uh, really critical to the point na minsan napapastrate ka na ganun. But I, I still have that. I still do that. I still critique myself and review and listen to myself. And, and then I would check and double check and review and pag uh, may tiba may pinag sinatawag tayo as musicians na o oh, yung glitches ang daming glitches uh-huh. na na uh-huh. all you work on it linisin diba? natin to uh, di ba tututukan mo hindi tayo kabit dito ah yung tatang 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 atrasado ka na sumusubsub ka pare ensayo natin yan di ba how do you what is the vocals in ensayo yan how do you say that to your bandmates do are you polite or do you just lasa tono oh As much as possible, I, I avoid <laughs> tension. I try, I, as much as possible, you know, I avoid going into tension. Because once that happens, wala, eh, na titigil na yung creativity. Like what you said, di ba? Pag nega na. Yeah, na titigil na yung uh, ano. Tapos na na intimidate yung iba. Yeah. You know? I think the best the best way para nyo is uh, to do it calmly and do it respectfully. Oh, sige, time out, ah, sigetay mo Respectfully. Ha. Paglalaro tayo ng game. Ah, uh, to be politically. Uh, kind to your bandmates by Mr. Mon David. So ako magsasabi and then i-interpret mo Kuya Mon uh-huh. kung paano sasabihin. Okay? Okay. Mike, ikaw kunyari ang titinan namin na wala ka sa tono. Interpret. Paano, paano natin sasabihin kay Mike yun? Ah... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko pa sina- alam, alam mo hindi ko pa nasabi yun yung, yung wala ka sa tono <laughs> hindi uh, ang kadalasan nangyayari uh, pare gusto mong pakinggan ulit <laughs> <laughs> ito yung ito yung tape pakinggan <laughs> natin Okay. Tapos, ang, 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 ang supportive doon, ang isang support na pwedeng gawin mo is i-demonstrate mo. Mm. Like okay. if, alimbawa, uh, may, pag may student ako, may session kami, i-demonstrate ko sa kanya. Right. Kakantayin ko mismo, papakita ko kung paano. Okay. Tapos ito, dito sa part na to, malambot ka. Meaning flat. Flat. Oh, yun ang term, malambot. Malambot ka. I-push mo ng konti. 
Kaya, ang dami naman turns na magkagamit. Matalas eh. ka rito, Shark. O, kaya, uh, parang kulang ka ng energy rito. Kaya siguro, parang flat siya. Kasi, <laughs> o kaya, dagdagan mo ng hangin. Ganun. So, you're, you're constructive and then you're giving... You have to be constructive first. Right. No? Okay, next. Ang maganda nga, dapat nga, ang mag- mas maganda pa nga, purihin mo muna. <laughs> yeah. Di ba? Some, yes. That was, okay. that, that was great, man. But... <laughs> Diba? Well, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> oh pare, kaya lang. <laughs> okay, second. Uh, Mike, masyado kang bumibilis ka eh. Bumibilis ka. Okay. Mike, uh, gawin natin ulit. Gawin natin ulit, tingnan natin. Parang di kasi tayo kabit eh. Hindi ko malaman kung ako ang... <laughs> Oh, oh, maganda yun, di ba? There's that. Uh, yes. There's, there's a thing as uh, tinatawag sa ano sa improvisation, sa vocal improvisation. Pati sa instrumental, uh, ang tawag nito, uh, entrainment. 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 Sabi ng writer, si Naknano, Stephen Naknanovich, ang galing-galing, who's a, he's a violinist and improviser. Sabi niya, there's that thing that happens on stage when you're creating with with a, a fellow musician dilimbawa duo kayo gitarista ako pianista ka hindi mo may explain hindi mo siya ma ni microsecond hindi mo may ma-de- describe na micro, microsecond yung difference nagkikita kayo sa gitna yung pulse niyo at pulse niya nag ticket they just energize uh, yeah. uh, yun ang tinatawag natin na uh, in the pocket okay di ba yes pag halimbawa yung bahista ang Marami. sarap ng groove, sarap din ng groove ng drummer. drummer. Nangyayari na lang yun, hindi mo ma-describe ma- eh. Minsan hindi mo masusulat. Kasi hindi enough na dotted 16 notes o dotted yeah. 8 notes. Yeah. Pakiramdam na lang yun. I yes. think that's what we call groove. Eh. Yes. Tamang groove at feel, di ba? But you know what? That's nice. No? The way you're saying it, people can learn from this. Because ang daming bandang nasisira just by the wrong way of addressing an issue. Yeah. And you've uh, been... Imbis na maging constructive, yes. napuputol yung, ano, yung relationship yes. at saka yung creativity. Yes. Oh, the last one. Ready, Mike? Bro, gumalaw ka naman. Kaming apat gumagalaw. Ikaw nakatayo ka lang. Kuya Mon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mukhang may meeting kayo pag <laughs> Hindi, pero kuya mo na, ang dami, ta- I, I kid you not, ang daming banda nakakilala namin. Mm. O ba't hindi na kayo magkabanda? Gago yun eh. Bakit anong ginawa? Kung ano nung sinabi sa akin, nung pala sinabi na sa kanya, ganun lang. Oh. Sabi ko, napaka, napaka balat si Buyas mo naman. Oh, but then again, super sensitive. But eh? then again, there is, there is a proper way of saying it and you've been, you've been giving us examples. Yeah. So can you please give the third one? <laughs> Ulitin natin. Uh, Actually, Bro, gumalaw actually, ka naman. Uh, hindi, ka, hindi ka gumagalaw. Mukha tayong tanga sa stage. O oh, yan. Mukha <laughs> tayong tanga. <laughs> Parang sinabi mo rin, mukha kang tanga kami, okay ka. <laughs> Kaya nga, di ba? So, but, how, sa, would you, how would you sa, say that? Sa akin, effective pa rin yung, ano, yung one-on-one eh. Oh, sige, paano mo sasabihin? Uh, one-on-one yan? eh. Interpret. <laughs> Mike, pare, nag-enjoy ka ba sa ginagawa mo? <laughs> Di ba? Nag-enjoy ka ba, pare? Di yan, totohanan tayo. Usap tayo nung ano. Mag- There is empathy. Yeah. May empathy. Dapat empathy muna. Hindi yung nakababaka na nakaganon. Yeah. Di ba? There is empathy in the conversation. Maano ma- naman talaga yun. Masakit naman talaga yun. Pagka right there yeah. and then, sasabihin mo. Galing. Diba? You know what? Ang oh, galing. I hope. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so we we started out with one song. Moving forward. Gumalaw ka naman! Exacto yung valor, di ba? Patatatata! Yung bahisa gumalaw. Magandang pinala, di ba? Thank you! Oh my goodness. Ibang klase. When we come back, guys, pag-uusapan naman natin the future of the patriarch, Mr. Mon David. Uh-oh. Now, before the break, sabi ko, 
the patriarch. Because that's how I see you. I see you as someone, maybe, maybe I don't know who Tatang is, but you're the opposite of who Tatang is. You have your, you have your, your kids, your grandkids, you have Ate Anne beside you. This is your brood. This is your family. Mm -hmm. This is your bubble. What's it like to be a patriarch? Because one day I want to be a patriarch to my, to my family also. Someone that people look up to. And I was, I was uh, privileged enough to see you, Carlo, and, and Nicole together. And I backstage. And I was like, oh, your kids. At one time. And I, I, it was a fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but when, when you were raising your children, did you envision the family to grow? Did you and Ate Ann talk na, you know, this is our family. It, ganto tayo. And kahit sa anong mangyari, dikit-dikit tayo. How? I will have to, I will have to, as always, continue, acknowledge, and give the credit to their mom, my wife, Anne. Because during those years, those times na nag-peak yung aming yung aking uh, uh, <coughs> association with the Apo, siya talaga yung tumutok sa mga anak namin. Right. I was traveling. You know, I would fly out, in and out ako sa Philippines, sa iba iba ibang parts of the world kami inaabot. Ha, naalala ko nga, sabi ng mga anak ko, there was a time that, sabi niya, hindi namin kayo nakikita. Uh, kasi darating lang kayo, may mga pasalubong kayo, gaya ng Europe, gaya ng Germany, gaya ng America, Amerika. Uh, but memorable sa amin yun, yung, yung tututukan niya kami kasi paalis na naman kayo the next week. <laughs> kasi even before that, sa Pil Pilipinas, nung, nung, nung on the side, may grupo ako noon, yung Unforgettables, uh, at foreplay, ganun din, ang busy-busy namin noon. Si, si Ann talaga yung tubutok. Tapos, ito na lang, itong mga pagpunta namin dito sa Amerika, which was 2007, yeah. doon, doon ako talaga nakatutok. What sa, brought sa you to the States? Ah, uh, malaking ano yan. Uh, I've, I've always... Another turning point in the life <laughs> yeah, another, of Mr. Mondavi. Another turning point na naman yan. My wife, si Anne, they've been here for, for uh, you know, many years uh, before that happened, before we flew in kanyang family. So, we already had that support in terms right. of family, yung clan namin. And she yung, si Ann talaga yung disidido na mag-base dito. Part of me, uh, during those times, may struggle. Oh! May, I know. <laughs> I, I, Pinag-uusapan namin yan na, na ano pa nga ako, nagagalit ako sa kanya. But, 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 Alam mo, umiiral sa akin yung pagka-nationalistic yes, ko noon yes. during those, those times. Ano pa ako noon? Passionate ako. Nag nagagalit ako sa kanya kasi wala ka nang sinabi ko, America, America, cha 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 And then this thing happened, 2006, uh, biglang may, you know, may somebody notified me, sabi niya, hey, there's this, there's this London thing, ganito, ganito, uh, open sa iba ibang bansa, sabi niya. Nag-participate 120 plus yata. Uh, nag nagkaroon ng finalist na 27. Pumasok ako. As, na, as, as, nasa 12 ako. Uh, hindi ako konforme at first. Sabi ko, I never believed in competition at first. Yung ganung major na competitions, especially sa jazz. Jazz, tapos magko-compete. Sabi ko, asan yung arti individual right. freedom? As asan yung identity ng of each artist? Sabi ko, bakit maglalaban? But who decides? Sino? Sino? <laughs> Pero sabi ni, sabi ni, alam mo na, mga ating mga partners, diretso, diretso yung move, moving forward siya, sabi niya. Okay, sabi niya, kung di mo asikaso, just give me the three pieces na, na pinakamalapit sa iyo na gusto mong gawin. Sabi niya. Ako maghahanda, ako mag ng documents, paperwork, sabi niya, inaayos na lahat. Bigla na lang, ito na yung email, you're in, sabi nila gano'n. Kasama ka sa 12 finalists, sabi niya. Lipad ka ng London, sabi niya. Ayun na, tataranta na ako. Sabi ko, oh, paano natin gagawin doon? Sabi ko, sabi ni, sabi ni mga grupo, we have to raise funds. Wala tayong budget para lumipad. Ito na, sumuport na yung British Council. Sumuport na yung industriya. 
mga, mga fellow artists right. and musicians na, na grace na ng funds to to help me para makalipad kami ni Ann. Tapos, sa London? Yeah, sa London. <coughs> tapos, tapos pumasok na ang Philippine Airlines. To sponsor the flights? Uh, to sponsor the flights. That, no, which led to the to me singing the the theme. Yes. The Philippine Airlines yes. with the big band which was arranged by Mel Villena. So, idon nagkaroon na ng movement. Uh, tapos biglang ito na. Ito na ang, <laughs> This is 2006, right? Yeah. The okay. US immigration. Ito na. Ito na itong, itong aking partner. <laughs> this is dito. But finally, ma-fulfill na yung dream niya. Ito yung susi. Sabi niya. Itong London winning. Sabi niya. No? Ayun. True enough. Yung immigration. Sabi you niya, won the competition? Yeah. I was the, 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 the grand winner 2006. Alam mo pa, isa pang... Ito, ito hanggang ngayon di ko ma... It was... Oh, God's will. Huge yan. part of it was mystery, mysterious and God's will talaga. Plan niya talaga. It became a, a reminder for me na this is what you're supposed to do. Ito yung pupuntahan mo. Ito yung be firm. Huwag ka matakot. Yeah? Galing. Tapos dumating yung, yung ano sa immigration, you have to be in the U.S. in four months. <laughs> Nataranta kami, pare. Yung mga anak ko talagang, yung si, Nico, si Nicole, may iyak siya kasi... Because she has a life fresh, in the Philippines. Yeah, eh. fresh graduate. Eh. Yeah. Tapos, siyempre, mga circle, mga circle of friends nila, nandun lahat. Lipat kami. Buong family. Through the strength of the artist visa. Right. And I discovered na lifetime, ano pala siya. Yeah. And the whole family. The whole family, one petition. Di ba? Lipat kami. Can you imagine, no? Your your journey started with singing contest. <laughs> Actually, amateur singing contest. Full circle, and to yeah. end your chapter mm-hmm. in the Philippines, singing contest, parin ang tumapos ng Philippine chapter. Wow! Actually, yun nga yung yun 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 ang cycle, no? Na, yeah. na ano mo siya na natumbok mo. <laughs> Ang galing, no? And then, uh, and then it, that started my, the uh, that other crucial part of my journey as a musician. Right. Uh, I started uh, meeting musicians dito sa LA. Uh, I started collaborating with them. Right. Tapos, pumasok na sa producer, hey, I want to record you, ganito, ganito. Tapos, yun na, gigs here and there festivals, invitations. I was really savoring each moment, pare. You know, when you meet new musicians now from different parts of the world and collaborate with them. Then in the end, at the end of the day, you realize na we speak the same language. Isa lang yung language namin. Pareho pala kami. You know, I, I come from the Philippines. He comes from Senegal. He comes from other... Nothing, you know. yeah. But when we meet, when we're play, making music... Walang diferensya Wala. yun. Di issue Walang yun. borders. Walang, Walang borders. Walang borders yun. Walang... I never felt that... that yung... Ano, yung ano, that... Uh, the feeling na parang left out ko o kaya... kaya na-disregard ka, ganun. They, they respect you. You respect them. You give that to them. They, they, give, they give it back to you. Through music. Alam mo yung communication natin na nag... Nag-smile lang tayo, di ba? That's it, yeah. Pag nangyayari, titingin ko, tatawa na kayo. Sarap ng kwetuhan. Tulad yung sinabi mo, pag in the pocket kayong dalawa, may eye contact pa yan. Nothing can replace that kind of communication. Hindi mo madidefine yun in other terms. Yung music lang, while it's happening, yun ang magdidefine nun, yun ang magkukwento nun sa audience, di ba? Yeah. And then you take it home with you, that feeling na, I wish I could do that again. I wish we could make that happen again. And that that be, gives you that fire to continue. Kasi sarap may experience ulit ito. Walang presyo to. Walang di mo kayang bayaran, yeah. di ba? And you know what, Kuyamon? <clears throat> Just being beside you right now, no? And and the energy that you're projecting, you're, you're still, sabi mo nga kanina, you're still learning. A beginner right? in many ways. But, but, You know, how do you keep that fire going? Because I can feel your passion and I'm pretty sure everybody in this room feels your passion. Saan ang hugot nun? Alam mo, uh, a huge part of it is that sense of gratitude. Amen. Pagpapasalamat sa 
regalo natin na to. We have this in our hearts. We are we are very fortunate to have music in our hearts. And and because of that we are able to cope. Kahit gaano kahirap ang you know, dinadaanan natin. Lahat naman tayo may kanya-kanyang struggles, di ba? Yeah. And tayo lang na we're so fortunate to enjoy this this art form na secondary yung bang bagay. Secondary yung bayad, secondary yung yes. rewards, yung acknowledgement, secondary yung external validation. Ang pinakamahalaga na enjoy mo yung ginagawa mo. And, and in the process, somebody in that audience is moved or inspired by Yes! It. Yun ang pinaka-fulfilling dun. Now, and, if, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. That becomes our gasolina to continue. Ang galing eh. Diba? <coughs> Now, to those people in the audience, Kuya Mon, ilanding natin, who want to give up, who are feeling frustrated, probably crying right now dahil, you know, may mga napulot sila at bilang nagkaroon sila ng epiphany. What words of encouragement can you give them, those who are watching right now? Uh, ang masasabi ko, th- these things uh, do-, do not happen overnight. But pag malakas ang pakiramdam mo sa isang bagay, alam mong yun ang mahal mo, alam mong yun ang gusto mong gawin. Ang daming paraan para mag-improve, ang daming paraan para mag-expand. There are a lot of people who can help na pwede mo lapitan. You know, lalo na ngayon with the technology that we yeah. have, ang daming information. Andiyan lahat. Andiyan lahat sa ano. You know, ang, ang daming makakatulong sa'yo para lumawak ka pa lalo sa craft mo, whether instrumento yung hawak mo o boses mo mismo. You know, some people uh, live to write, some write to live, sabi nga nila. Oh. Di ba? Some people uh, make music and and they become fulfilled and become ha- happy because of that one thing in their heart and in their mind. Uh, yung iba, unfortunately, walang katuwang, walang families. Pero kung buhay ka at malakas ka, pwede, kang, pwede, pwede mong gawing pamilya yung sarili mo at kung sino mong mamimit mo along the way. Sino makakasama mo? Whether you are a pianist or a bass player or a drummer. Uh, ka, ano na ko parati sa unahin mo kung ano yung nasa puso mo and I think everything, else, yun, will, eh. everything yeah. else will follow. May, may, may pagka-scripture yun, di ba? Yeah. Nasa scripture din yun, di ba? You seek first the kingdom yeah, yeah. of God, di ba? Uh-huh. And His righteousness. And all these Totoo things yun. shall oh. be added unto you. At lahat naman tayo yung pananalig na yun, nasa puso natin yun. Naniniwala ako na lahat tayo may ganun eh. Iba-ibang degree lang. Yung iba, malakas mag-demonstrate no? Uh-huh. iba, tahimik lang. Pero lahat tayo natutulog pag higa natin sa <laughs> higaan natin, nagpapasalamat tayo, yeah. nagtatanong tayo, and then we ask for guidance. Yung pagising mo, kahit na either major yan o minor na, na problema sa pamilya at mga kaibigan, kakagulat na pag-gising mo, andun yung sagot. Diba? Amen. O minsan, in the middle of the night, papapap lang siya. Andun na kagad. I think, I think, uh, faith, uh, faith in God, napaka, pinakauna yan. Pinakauna yan. Tapos, faith in yourself. Amen. Yeah. Faith in your family, faith in your loved ones and friends. Kung ano yung mundong ginagalawan mo, whether writer ka, or painter, or singer, or, Ayun ang paniwala ko. I could be wrong in some areas, pero uh, iyon ang nagbibigay sa akin ng, ano, ng kalma at focus. You know? At the same time, hindi mo pwedeng, di, di rin dapat na, di rin nakakatulong na siseryoso ano masyado sarili mo. <laughs> you, have yep. to, you have to have fun yep. while doing it. You have to have fun with your grandchildren, with your friends. You know? Nag-uusapan natin yung garden kanina. Yeah. That's fun. It's fun to focus on these things. Just Regular, my, normal yes, things. Yes, yes. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mon David, thank you so much. Kuya Mon. Salamat po. Ate Salamat Ad, thank din. you so much. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you so much. And please, subscribe. Please support Mr. Mon David. We'll put links in the description below. And... Always keep on winning. Pag may napulot kayo rito sa, sa kwentuhan namin, please huwag kayong selfish. I-share nyo sa ibang tao 
para mas marami tayong taong ma-inspire. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Thank you.